the second weekly update. Um, we're now in October in Spain. So what's happened this week? Well, my residency didn't go as, as planned, but at the same time, it's, it's not something I was really fussed about, I'll be honest. Um, I was expecting the odd hurdle, but it just seems a bit, well, excessive. But not to the point I'm worried about it. Um, although they, they're questioning income, they're not actually sure what amount they should be um, contesting. Why do I sound, why do I sound a bit dithery with it? Well, the fact is, as somebody pointed out already, uh, they emailed me privately, they, they're actually in breach of the uh, Schengen route paperwork anyway. So, like I said, I'm not too fast. I'll get there anyway. But I'd much rather work with them than work against, purely because we're here long term. So, if I can get through these hurdles, make a few friends along it instead of enemies, uh, could help other people later on. What else has happened? Well, because of that, I've started looking at teaching English. Um, it's something I've been thinking about, but I want to avoid going back to the UK if I can help it. So I'm now in the process of looking at what courses to do online, and then, fingers crossed, I'll talk to the local school and back it up with some free training, um, not my free training, what I mean is I'll actually do some classes for free in the local school and fingers crossed they'll sign off to say yeah he's taught English here, blah blah blah, in exchange for doing it for free. So I'm working on that. Um, I've got some properties I've been looking at the last couple of weeks, I've got a nice one over here, um, slightly out of shot. But as you can see it's got some fantastic views I'll put that up because um, they're, they're brand spanking new um, the other ones are the other end of the town which are renovation projects which could be easy to flip uh, basically buy it renovate it flog it um, so I've got some of those to put up as well um, the other side of this is dog food funny enough Somebody asked me if I could find somewhere to store 30 pallets of dog food and not only have I managed to find where to store them, I've pretty much managed to sell them as well. So everything's moving. That's what I'm saying. Financially, I'm not too fussed at the moment. I've got enough leeway. Uh, I just need to become self-employed uh, in Spain, which I'm happy to do. Because uh, like I said, I mean, the thing with Spain is I'm new here. This country has given me a lot already, a lot more than the UK does. The UK seems to just give me aggravation. Um, one of the things they did say I could do regarding medical insurance, if others are interested, is you can fill in like this form that's called an S1. Uh, basically transfers your medical insurance from the UK to Spain for long-term residence. I'm still looking at that because the UK still owes me a pension. Um, I've already got over 18 years paid into a pension, my, a lot more than that. So. I'm not letting the UK off with that one. Um, they've robbed me enough over the years. But also, if you're self-employed in Spain, your medical insurance is covered anyway because you're paying tax, because you've got social security payments. Uh, you're paying social security, you're paying tax. The uh, immigration guys are quite happy because you're actually saying, look, I pay my way, I'm paying into the system, give me my residency. So, all this time together, I mean, it was quite funny there because I was explaining that sometimes when they get paid in the Middle East, they pay you in cash. And they're like, well, I don't have that problem. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but what do you want me to do? They say, well, put more money in the bag. There's 16,000 euros already in the bag. I said, how much money do you want me to put in the bag? And they said, well, we don't know. You, you'd have to ask the policeman what they mean is they go. Because the local police that handle the uh, immigration in the Philippines um, for, for EU citizens. Uh, which is in Torbea here, but for non-EU, we've got to go to Alicante, same process, but by that time, this will be quite interesting because proving my own uh, res for residency in the Spain, I should only be providing for myself, 
but here they request that I do it for the whole family which is something they shouldn't be doing because my residency is for me not for them that is in Alicante so they've already said well you've got to have this as a family so when I go to Alicante I say well you have already said in Torbea this is what you required as a family and I've provided that that's why I'm not too fussed at the moment um, headaches this week my Cebu Expat site I merged tropicalpenpals.com into Cebu Expat and it's currently about 6,000 links which are all the photographs which now need matching back up and putting together so it's, it's a horrible job but if you ever use my site uh, it's quite old now it's um, patchwork a lot of photos are missing well they're there they just sat on my hard drive we um, but it, it's trying to send them back to TP when the photos are actually in Cebu Expat now horrible task somebody's got to sit there and manually change them all but at the same time SEO's moved on so back then it would be like photo number 247 size 600 by 800 or whatever now it'll be photo of the beach in Alicante you know it's that sort of thing you know their SEO's changed so renaming 6,000 files does take a little bit of time <laughs> so that's what's going on at the moment this the school is fantastic by the way a lot of people run down the schools in Spain I would say it's much better than the UK um, kids are loving it um, Zoe suffers with autism um, I say suffer with autism I mean the thing is she's already multilingual she doesn't talk much but if she decides to talk she can speak multiple languages uh, because she absorbs stuff but she she just chooses not to she's, she's awkward like that that's the bit we, we've actually got somebody uh, helping her with her language skills at the moment but um, I would say the schools are fantastic okay you pay bits and pieces here but I think people forget how much they actually pay in the UK because it's all hidden in your tax if you sat and looked at how much you really pay in tax you're probably losing about 80% if not more of your money every week to the government in some form uh, but yeah, that's my weekly update. Thanks for watching.